now. Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. You know, I should be ashamed of myself as I was reading the story about the new uh, flight uh -huh. to, to, to Los Angeles. All I could think about was the, the song in the Beverly Hillbillies theme. <laughs> they said California is a place you ought to be. The Hillbillies, the Beverly Hillbillies. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Well, I've been singing Walking on Sunshine this whole day. You should be. It's you know? Rightfully so, though. Yes, absolutely. Is that not just breathtaking? It's yes. so gorgeous. So this is taking a look at the Sand Mountain Park and Amphitheater mm -hmm. in Albertville, their beautiful sunrise. Oh, we're all going to see sunshine all day today, but we're starting off a little chilly before yeah. we get there. Not too bad, though. Take a look right now at the Space and Rocket Center right here in the Rocket City. The Way 31 Skycam Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction, looking spectacular. Let's talk about our temperatures, though. I have a lot to tell you. We're waking up at just 28 degrees in Fort Payne, so really quite cold. You're going to want your jacket, your gloves, and you're going to have ice on the windshield. But move over just one county to Gunnersville, and we're talking about 41 degrees. So a major change there. You're not even going to want the gloves at all. A light jacket should probably do you good. In Huntsville, we're talking about 39, 33 in Decatur, and down to 31 in Haleyville. So a lot of variability this morning, depending on where you live. Go ahead and download the Way 31 Storm Tracker weather app so that you can see exactly what the temperature outside your front door is before you head out the front door. 617 this morning and conditions on 31 triple Doppler are completely dry. As the sun continues to rise, we're going to see less and less of a gradient in those temperatures across the board. We're all going to start to be in the same neighborhood as each other. By the time we get to 8 a.m., we'll be at 44 degrees and then by 10 a.m., we're already where our high temperatures should be for this time of year. That's in the upper 50s. However, we're going to soar or past that mark today. We have a whole lot of sunshine on tap and that's really going to warm us. By lunchtime today we'll be sitting in the mid 60s. So do whatever you can. Cancel the meeting, <laughs> take a break outside, take a short walk, or just sit by the window. Do whatever you can to take advantage of the sunshine because 65 and sunny at lunch, I think we'll take it. Our high temperature today, not just the warmest we've been all week, but the warmest we've been in 2024 to date, and even 70 degrees, making today the most lovely and spring-like day we've had in quite some time. Now, tomorrow we're going to keep similar temperatures. We'll be in the upper 60s for your Thursday. However, here's what I want to tell you. We're going to be overcast all day with rain coming in the afternoon and evening. But when we have warm conditions and we increase moisture like we will with the later afternoon rain, that means we're going to be very, very humid as well. So tomorrow might be a baseball hat hair day. It's going to be a little icky and sticky. So soak up today's perfect weather while you can. Here's what I want to tell you about tomorrow's rain and the timing. We will be cloudy all day, but we'll all get to work and school and through lunch with dry conditions. We're not going to see rain enter into the Tennessee Valley until about 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It then continues to track south and east and build. Take a look at Thursday at 5 o'clock, though. Even though it looks like we're seeing very widespread rain, which we will see, note that it's just a mist or a drizzle. You're probably not going to need your windshield wipers on anything more than the lowest setting because at this point, we won't be seeing very strong rain. As we head through dinner time, we start to see some stronger rain come into the region, and then by bedtime, the cold front itself pushes through the Tennessee Valley, tracks east, and gets out of our way after the turn of midnight. However, keep in mind, this system is not severe. It's just some good old-fashioned rain. And we're still in a level one drought here in North Alabama and southern Tennessee, so let's see if maybe we can get enough rain to get us out of that before we head into planting season. No need for severe weather, but soak up today's sunshine while you can.